Hi, I'm Pete, and welcome to Just a Few Acres Farm. I thought I'd change things up a little bit this morning, and I'm going to do a little work on the farm all 756 today. I'm going to adjust the relationship between the transmission brake, the clutch, and the torque amplifier because they all three need to work together whenever you push in the clutch and shift the tractor. If they're out of alignment, you're going to get some grinding gears when you shift into either range or specific gear on this tractor. And what I'm doing today applies to all the 06 Farmall tractors and all the 56 and I think the 66 series tractors, although details will vary a little bit, the same process overall is used. This is a step-by-step -step process for you. you got to follow the steps and the first step is to make sure that the dump valve light is working properly on the dash because you're going to need it later. Now my dash is partially taken apart because I took out the temperature and fuel gauge and sent it off for repair. Anyway this right here is a dump valve tell light and it just comes out by twisting it and pulling it out and then the bulb holder is back here. This had a GE257 bulb in it which is a blinker bulb. It's got a long bar in it and when it heats up enough it kills the circuit so the bulb winds up flashing. Those are hard to find especially good quality ones anymore and so I'm putting in a new GE57 bulb which is the steady lit version of the blinker. Then we'll give her a little test. When I turn on the key the bulb should come on. Yep, that spring goes on there. Shove the whole thing down inside. Put the lens back on. Give it a little test again. Yep, we got light. Now if you don't have the convenience of a gauge out like I do to reach in, this cover comes off really easily. You just undo these bolts here and then the whole thing tips out and you can get at the lights that way. So here's the deal with this light. Let me start the tractor. The lights on when the clutch is in. It goes out when I push the clutch out. And what's happening is that light is indicating that the hydraulic system is dumping pressure because the hydraulic system keeps pressure on the torque amplifier clutch to keep it engaged. And when you push the clutch in, you want to dump that pressure so that the gears in the TA have a little bit of rollback and in the transmission have a little bit of rollback so you can shift it easier so it doesn't lock up in place. And the way that light works in case you got a wiring problem and you got to trace it is there's a switch here on the side of where the torque amplifier comes linkage comes in and that switch is a ground switch so when the switch is closed it makes a ground. And the light wiring in here <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you can see it in all this mess. One of these wires is coming up from that switch that I just showed you. The other wire at the back of the light is connected to a hot terminal that's always hot when the key is on. And so when the switch closes the ground, it makes the circuit and lights the light on. Now that we know that the tell light is working properly, we can go ahead and start adjusting the linkages. And I could do that via the operator's manual for the tractor, which there's instructions right here with annotated diagrams. It is a very complicated process, and I have done it this way before. But there's a much easier way, and I'm going to do it that way. And I know I've mentioned this before, but if you're looking for information on old farm alls, the place to go two forums, yesterday's tractor forum and the Red Power forum. There is a guy on the Red Power forum named the Farmall Doctor who has published on the forum again and again, don't follow the operator's manual, there's a much easier way to do it and I'm doing it his way, so kudos to him. I don't know if he'll ever see this, there's a couple guys that are very knowledgeable on the Red Power forum and yesterday's tractor forum that follow the channel, their names are Barnyard Engineering, that's their username and TP from Central PA. So I want to give a shout out to them because they know this stuff backwards and forwards and I learn a lot from the forums and all the older experts that actually worked on these tractors back in the day that take the time to post on these forums. Let's start up the tractor and I'll show you what the problem looks like. So if I let out the clutch, let it run, push in the clutch, hear that, out of adjustment. 
first step is to make sure your torque amplifier shifter here is in the forward or direct drive position. And then with it in the forward position, you look down here, here's where all the torque amplifier linkage is, and you see this plunger here to the spool valve that comes off of the linkage from the torque amplifier. That snap ring has to bottom out on the spool valve so we know the torque amplifier is out of adjustment. And to adjust it so this comes down further, we have to lengthen this linkage rod here. And on the back side of the rod, there's a lock nut here and a yoke or a clevis that goes onto this plate. So we have to take this clevis pin out, take this out and extend this arm. Get that loosened up first. Pull that pin out. Got the cotter pin off. This rod's got a lot of adjustment left into it. Lots of threads here, so we'll turn the yoke out and lengthen the rod. All right, I think I've got this in the right adjustment. Turn the lever forward. And that snap ring just about bottoms out on the top of the spool valve. Having adjusted the torque amplifier, we're just going to check it here. When I push the clutch in, the tail light comes on. Now if I shift it into here, you can tell it's still off. When I let the clutch out, this light should go off just before the tractor starts to roll. And you can see I've got a lot of travel in the clutch after the light goes out and before the tractor rolls. Lots of free play in the clutch before the light comes on. So we want to get that so that the light goes off just before the clutch disengages and the tractor starts to roll. This is the linkage going from the clutch pedal up here all the way down to actuate the clutch here. So what we want to do is lengthen this bar so that the clutch releases sooner and is closer to the tail light status. All right, there was a little passage of time here. This clutch rod was all bent up and had the turnbuckle been screwed up by somebody getting in here before me and the threads didn't match on either end so you couldn't really adjust. I'd take it all apart, clean it all up, chase the threads, grease it, and now I've got the clutch adjusted properly. And I'll show you. I also use the manual recommendation of 11 16th inch free play, which is the distance from here to the platform to adjust the clutch linkage. You start her up, light comes on. Now, the instructions say you want to try this in high range third gear. Clutch is depressed, raise the clutch, light goes out, and into gear. But I've still got my grinding gear problem. Next we have to adjust the transmission brake, which is this linkage coming from the clutch arm here down into here. So the first thing to do is to take this pin out so I can get this clevis loose. You gotta loosen this jam nut on the arm. I don't think this has been messed with in quite a while. Because it is tight. There we go. Now chances are we're gonna have to lengthen this arm to engage the brake more. Now I have my lovely assistant to help me. <laughs> She's my official clutch pusher. All right, he'll push in the clutch. Now we want this adjusted, see I'm, I hold it all the way engaged, push this down, I can slide the pin in here, and I wanna go at least a half turn longer with this rod than that. So I'm actually gonna go a full turn here. Can you slowly let off the clutch hill? Well, that's good. We'll check high range, clutch in, one, two, three, shift. Works great. Now one other thing I wanted to mention is a torque amplifier. Use it. Shift it quick, just like I did. Don't baby it, and use it. It needs to be running low side as much as high side. I have never had a problem with a torque amplifier, but I use them. Well, we got this old girl shifting like a champ, so much better than what it was before. I suspect that the transmission brake is pretty worn out and probably needs replacement sometime in the future. But other than that, this was a smooth process. 
Thank you so much, Farmall Doctor. So much easier than all the adjustments in the manual, which are so complicated. If you have an 06, 56, 66, and I think 86 tractor, this process applies to all of them. So I hope this is helpful. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.